MG, hmm? have you ever thought about having a superpower? Uh, yeah, I would love to read minds. And you're the only person that I can read his mind because we are the same. But you know, so if you can read my mind, then you already knew the topics of all videos we recorded before we start recording them. And you know the topic of this video too, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Then why you always pretend that you don't know the topic that we're talking about and you always come with a question and asking me to teach the answer? I don't get it. Well, it's, it's written in video script and I'm acting accordingly. Talking about reading mind, what if I told you that Databricks just announced something pretty close which is called Lakehouse IQ that read mind of your data. So it uses a large language based AI engine that learn all your business data and concepts in your lake house like your notebooks, your codes, queries and usage patterns and even your business jargons to answer your questions in natural language ways. So that means I can search and query my data or lake house assets through lake house IQ and even using its API maybe to, to create my own applications, right? You bet, that's right. Then, let's go. Hello everyone, this is MG and welcome to another video which here we are with another uh, Databricks announcement in Data and AI Summit 2023, which is called Lakehouse IQ. That's gonna be truly a game changer for your lakehouse. Well, we have already seen that how you can connect your enterprise data to GPT models and have something like ChatGPT that can answer questions based on your data or being grounded on your data. But Lakehouse IQ is beyond just a data assistant, it actually learned all your business and data concepts within the lake house like your notebooks your queries the tables you have in the lake house and even your organizational chart or business jargons to fully understand and having an assistant based on large language model that has been trained on your business and on your lake house and of course we have unity catalog on the top of that to manage governance that how people can access to this powerful engine which is called lake house iq to search and query your lake house assets in your business using just natural language. And through this lake house IQ API, imagine that, well, lots of opportunities. You can just create your own application with natural language and query your assets in the lake house instead of manually searching them and figure out what is available in the ocean of your lake house. Then let's check it out. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video all right welcome back everyone and before we get into lakehouse iq which is something so cool and just announced in data and ai summit 2023 by databricks let's first discuss what is lakehouse that might be something uh, a bit of new term for some of you lakehouse by itself is really a whole separate topic so i really want to summarize that in just a couple of minutes what is Data Lakehouse and what's going to be the proposed value of Lakehouse IQ by Databricks? Well, as you can see my screen, Data Warehouse was traditional way that you can do business analytics and even potentially some data science workloads in a way that you have a data warehouse. Let's say you have a SQL database or multiple SQL instances that host your structured database and tables. And now you have this structured data, you can do some ETL over them, you can create some uh, business intelligence dashboard or reports, and definitely have that enabled for different line of businesses. But there were some limitation with this current data warehousing solution. The first limitation was that if I wanna do advanced analytics like deep learning or machine learning, maybe the functionality of ETLs that data warehouse support is not enough and I want to have that data exported somewhere else so I can leverage it for further analysis. Not only that, sometimes I need to deal with 
non-tabular or non-structured data, which we call it unstructured, like video, images, or streaming data stuff. So instead of just having data warehouse, then we had another proposed solution, which is data lake that can host not only structured data, but also unstructured data as well, or semi-structured. So then I have all the data dumped to this data lake, then I can do some ETL, push the structured part all the way to data warehouse, do the same thing. And also now I can enable my data scientists for advanced machine learning stuff because they can directly pull out the data from data lake or the data warehouse again. But there was a challenge. And the challenge was that people were familiar with data warehouse because that's the most traditional way. And they know how to write down SQL and stuff. But when we come to data lake, some people are still not comfortable for loading data directly from data lake in a non-SQL way, let's say, Pythonic way. So in order to mitigate that challenge, then a combination of these two got proposed, which is called Lakehouse. So Lakehouse is, is still using that data lake on the back end. You can see the same stuff we have here is also available here. But the difference is that we are adding an additional layer over the data lake so when you want to pull the data from data lake, if you are a data scientist, ML engineer, if you are a data engineer, whoever you are, you will feel like you are touching warehouse because you can write down SQL even for the data you have in Blob. So you feel like, oh, I am, I am feeling and experiencing data warehouse world because I can write down my queries and SQL, but on backend it is using data lake and it is hosting even unstructured data, semi-structured structure as well. So, we have mitigated the unfamiliarity board of Data Lake with uh, the same way that you could a data warehouse, but at the same time, we are bringing the advantage of Data Lake. We have it in place. Now, here's the question and here's the proposed value of the solution we're going to talk about. We immediately saw that after announcement of OpenAI models and ChatGPT, GPT-4, we created multiple videos. I'm going to add them to the top right of this screen that how you can connect your enterprise data to GPT models and start chatting with your data. Right now, if you ask ChatGPT about a question, let's say, what was my sales for my company for the last year? ChatGPT says, I don't know. I don't have access to your data. It's not nothing on internet then how we can connect this to our data and it can answer questions about my company. So we saw that in the video how we can achieve this. We can have an assistant for our databases to query them or for text data, we can query them. But here's something beyond. Now I want to have an assistant that can help me to query my whole lake house. That means I can query my report, I can query my codes, I can query my SQL databases that is generated over this data lake approach. Um, I can debug them, generate codes, anything that GPT models can do, right? This is exactly what Databricks Lakehouse IQ will propose. Before we deep dive to Data Lakehouse IQ, let's see as of now, right now that you're watching this video, how you can create a GPT assistant to chat with your data in Databricks, right? So the first way, as we discussed, this is actually the previous video I recorded and posted last week. So if you can check that out, that would be great because I'm deep dive talking about a new thing, again, announcing Data and AI Summit this year that it's called English SDK for Apache Spark. It's all about a new library released that when you install this, you will use, let's say, GPT-4 as an example to start chatting with your data, uh, Spark data frames. And it can even connect to internet and uh, query live internet data for you. For example, here it is asking that I want to have this data from internet. That's it. It knows how to parse the URL, grab the URL and bring the data back as a data frame for you. Then if you want to plot this data frame, you just simply type in English what you want to do and the answer is there for you. And even for transformation, you don't need to code. You can just type it in English. That's why it's called English SDK for Apache Spark. Again, check that video. I will add that video to the video description as well here. Uh, but I totally explain that in a separate video with some examples there. The second way, even if you don't want access to this, before even having English SDK for Apache Spark, also LangChain developed a um, plugin for Databricks. With installing Databricks SQL Connector, you can connect to the SQL 
tables that you have in Databricks. And then with Langchain, you can start chatting with your tables in Databricks using, let's say, GPT-4. And there you go. For example, you ask this question about your table that you have in, again, Databricks. And the answer is there. But now, Lakehouse IQ, which we're going to talk about this, is something beyond just a data assistant. And check that out. So, actually, you don't see the top. What is written here is called Unity Catalog. And here it is called Queries. But Lakehouse IQ is going beyond just creating an agent to chat with your data. Because sometimes, simply chatting with your table is not enough. You might have some business jargon, some nuances, some uh, organizational charts. So your large language model should really know your business to answer your question. So that's why Databricks announced Lakehouse IQ that it will generate a customized model, large language model for your business that understand your business, your context, your jargons. And it will connect it, be connected to documentations you have, your dashboards, your Databricks notebooks, organization chart, lineage, queries, and even the query patterns that your user had in Databricks. So when you have this AI engine powered by a large language model, it knows your business. Then you can ask any question from your lake house using natural language. Then you can search your lake house. Let's say you're looking for that specific data. You don't know that data is in data lake. Where is it? Under which folder? There's a table or not? And it's challenging to search them right now. But with just natural language, you can search that out. And it is written Unity Catalog here because, as you know, Unity Catalog is a unified gateway to govern data access. And now Unity Catalog is inter integrated with Lakehouse IQ. That means when a user come and type in English to ask a question about the data, it will check by Unity Catalog that if that user has access to that data or not before answering. So let's deep dive in a little bit further. I move the page a little bit up so you can see all the images. So for example here, when Lakehouse IQ is disabled, it's not there. If I ask question, what is our total revenue in Europe? It will use a typical large language model to generate a query. And it says that, okay, your sales territory should be Europe. But when you run this query, you see that there is no result. But when you enable Lakehouse IQ here, you will see that when I ask the same question as an example, I didn't, but these are just from references. It knows my business now. So it knows that for Europe, I have two different regions, Northern and Southern. Then it added to the sales territory. And there you go. This time I have an answer. So that's the difference when you have a Lakehouse IQ just for you and your business rather than using just a typical large language model. Okay, moving further. You can search, right? If you, for example, have Lakehouse IQ off, you ask a question, where can I see serverless usage? It might come up with some answers, but when you enable Lakehouse IQ, for example, this is a sample by Databricks, and in Databricks business, they know that Nephos and DBUs are something that you can measure the usage, right? So when you ask this question, it finds the relevant answer with the nuances it knows from the company. Because that's a specialized Lakehouse IQ just for that company, which this company was Databricks because this is, I grabbed it from the reference that they have used. Not only that, it can even generate explanations for the assets you have in Lakehouse. For example, you have a table here and it automatically generated a description of what this table is about. This is a very great capability and save you a ton of time instead of you documenting all the assets you have, let's say in your lake house, what is this table. So on Fully, with just a click on the table, I can understand what this table is about. And no human generated this, automatically generated by Lake House IQ. This is great. And lastly, which is my favorite part, they mentioned that they're gonna give you Lake House IQ API as well. That means not just from UI of Databricks, you can query and search with natural language. You can have it as this Lakehouse IQ agent accessible through API, then I can develop applications. For example, I wanna develop an app that do this and that and that. Instead of me going and searching, finding the tables and data I need to have in my application, I can just type by natural language, get the results back and embed that in my application. This is again another great capability. So now, how can we start? Well, 
it's not there yet I mean as of now that I'm recording the video I couldn't actually enable that in my data rich workspace because they said that they're gonna roll out the capabilities of lake house in the coming months but the time that you're watching this video maybe lake house is already enabled in your workspace but I think it's certainly worth to echo what has been introduced and announced to let you know that what is coming, make sure that you have it in your to-do list, make sure you plan it for enriching your lake house and making sure you're not going to reinvent the wheel. If you're thinking about generating a co-pilot for your lake house in Databricks, maybe it would be much efficient and feasible to just wait and get that feature enabled for you. And sky's the limit you will see how much this will really accelerate your progress and just wanted to also compare lake house with some other currently existing ways that you can use language models with databricks we talked about langchain we talked about english sck for apache spark i created a whole separate video for that and here we are lake house iq as soon as i saw the announcement i was pretty excited and couldn't stop myself to at least give you the heads up what's going on and as soon as we all get access same as myself I'll give it a try and try to create more deep dive and specific tutorials just for Lake House IQ, which I would love to know your comments and inputs on that, that what you're keen on knowing further. And as always, respecting your input, saying just yes, sir, and creating the next video. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Until next one, take care. There is an invisible strength within us. And when it recognizes two opposing optics of a desire, then it grows stronger. Then dream big, my friends, believe in yourself and take action. Till next video, take care.